नमस्कार वेलकम बैक टू द पॉडकास्ट ऑफ आई सी आर रिसर्च कॉम्प्लेक्स फॉर एन ई एच रीजन उमिया मेघालय इन टू डेज एपिसोड वी विल टॉक अबाउट द केयर एंड मैनेजमेंट ऑफ पिकलेट्स सो लेट्स वेलकम आर एक्सपर्ट डॉक्टर सौरभ डेवरी सीनियर साइंटिस्ट एनिमल रिप्रोडक्शन आई सी आर उमिया सर वेलकम टू टू डेज एपिसोड थैंक यू फॉर इन्वाइटिंग मी फॉर टू डेज प्रोग्राम So as we are going to learn about the care and management of piglets so let's start with the pregnancy so sir could you tell the viewers what are the management practices involved in uh, taking care of the pregnancy yeah uh, the pregnancy length in case of uh, pigs it ranges from around 109 to 117 days that is on an average uh, the pregnancy length is 114 days <coughs> this pregnant uh, sows they can be house together initially but they should not be allowed to mix with new animals because it may result in fighting and it may lead to abortion therefore the pregnant animals may be house together and on an area on an average about 3 square meter of area is sufficient for one pig or one pregnant sow so that she can move around and have her uh, daily exercise and around 7 days before actual day of pregnant uh, delivery the animal may be transfer to individual pens where she can give birth without any disturbance okay so sir what are what are the things that is required or what should be done during the time of farrowing okay uh farrowing is the process of giving birth by the pregnant sows the process is called farrowing during the farrowing <coughs> the uh, farrowing pen the, the animal is transferred to a farrowing pen that is a delivery pen you can say where it should be equipped with guard rails and crib space because during the giving the, during the time of giving birth uh, many piglets are delivered so these piglets may be crushed by the mother therefore they the speech the piglet needs this guard rail to protect them from the mother so sir you have uh, mentioned about the farrowing pen mm. so uh, thus temperature in, it, in this pen needs to be maintained yeah uh, this is very important question because the piglets are born with very less hair so they are not able to regulate their body temperature therefore the temperature is very important for survival of the piglets so initially for around 2 to 3 days temperature of around 24 to 28 degree need to be maintained and this may be gradually reduced to 16 to 22 degrees centigrade till the piglets are around 6 weeks of age so for maintaining the temperature we may use some bulbs or some heaters that may be uh, fixed around 45 the uh, 45 cm above the ground it will give the optimum temperature for survival of the piglets so sir uh, as you have uh, explained about the uh, pen about the uh, farrowing pen so how this pen are prepared and what are the practices involved in keeping uh, saw in this pen yeah uh, as i said earlier the pregnant animal should be transferred to this farrowing pen or the delivery pen one week before the day of uh, delivery so before bringing the animal to this uh, delivery pen the pen need to be cleaned it should be disinfected properly by use of some disinfectant generally we can use potassium permanganate solution we can use some bleaching powder so that the pen should be thoroughly disinfected before keeping the uh, before bringing the pregnant animal to this uh, house or to this pen and now next uh, taking care of the animal the animal should be given a good quantity balanced ration the feed should be gradually reduced one by one third till the day of delivery and it is advisable that the pregnant animal should not be given any food before 12 hours of delivery so sir we have discussed about the uh, management practices involved in the farrowing uh, saw mm-hmm. so uh, my next question would be how piglets can be taken care uh, after farrowing yeah uh, this is very important step in piglet management after the del- uh, delivery of piglets the piglets should be uh, gently taken away from the mother it should be uh, all the mucus and all that attached to the uh, piglet in their nose or mouth should be cleaned they and they should be tried to keep warm the another most important thing is that we have to cut the navel navel coat at least 2 to 5 cm uh, above the ground and we should uh, paint it with some uh, antiseptic maybe tincture iodine um, but many a times in our household we may not have the tincture iodine in that case we can use any kind of antiseptic solutions like that all solution sebron solution that we have in the house we have to paint this uh, navel coat with this antiseptic solution because we have seen in many a times in the young uh, piglets the uh, disease is entered through the navel coat so we have to take care of it after uh, 
the navel coat is uh, disinfected, uh, we have to see that each uh, individual piglets were able to suckle uh, milk from the mother and they should get individual teeth so that they can get sufficient milk for their growth. By around two days, uh, each piglet will be settled and they will know through which uh, teeth they are taking their milk. Uh, so sir, like there is a term called needle teeth. Yeah. So what is this needle teeth and why it should be removed? And what are the procedures involved in removing this uh, needle teeth? Yeah. Uh, actually, these needle teeth are a sharp pair of teeth and each piglets are born with four pair of needle teeth, okay. two pair in each jaw. But practically, this uh, needle teeth has no importance. Moreover, these teeth, they cause irritation to the mother while the babies, the piglets, they suckle the suckle milk therefore we have to remove this needle teeth by use of uh, uh, clippers we have needle, uh, needle teeth clippers are there so immediately after birth we can remove this teeth by using the clippers so sir if in case the, the saw or the uh, mother dies after the uh, after giving birth so how can we raise these orphan uh, piglets yeah, uh, this is a very important question again. We have seen uh, sometimes the mother of a delivery dies due to some disease or maybe due to some problem. And even certain cases what we have seen, the, there is no sufficient milk production by the mother to feed all the piglets. So in, this case, in such kind of cases, we have to remove the piglet from the mother or we have to try to give it to some other another mother or another sow who has recently given birth but again there are some practical problems are there many times this another mother uh, the foster mother they generally don't accept the piglets okay. so in this case we can raise these orphan piglets by giving some milk replacers and these milk replacers can be prepared very easily by mixing one egg yolk with one liter of uh, cow milk and we can feed it to the uh, orphan piglets <clears throat> but this uh, uh, milk replace sufficient to raise the piglets except iron because we all know that iron is a major uh, mineral in case of piglets so in that case in, the, in this milk replacer we can add around 180 one eight uh, tablespoon full of ferrous sulfate we can mix this with the milk replacer and we can feed it to orphan piglets so sir, there is a term called uh, castration so can you tell our viewers what is this uh, castration and why and when it is done in piglet yeah uh, castration is generally done in animals uh, those which are male animals which are not required for any more for breeding because if we do the castration especially in case of pigs uh, if we do the castration the animal will be grow very fast and there will be no body odor and it will be suitable for consumption of meat Generally, young piglets, male piglets are castrated around three to four weeks uh, of birth and generally sur surgical removal, by surgically we remove the testicles and we do the castration in case of piglets for fattening purpose. So sir, my next question would be, what is weaning and uh, when it is done in the piglets? Yeah, weaning is a process uh, in which the young piglets are separated from the mother and weaning in case of pigs it is done at around 56 days of age at this age we remove the piglets from their mother and it is a very interesting thing in case of pig husbandry until and unless weaning is done the sow is not ready for next pregnancy therefore we have to remove the piglets from the mother so that the mother can be ready for the next pregnancy but with advancement of science, nowadays we we can do the weaning in case of pigs by around 40-45 days. So if we do the early weaning in case of uh, pig, the, we are able to get at least two farrowing, two liter in a year. Because if we delay the farrow, uh, weaning, the pregnancy pregnancy length will be delayed, and it is difficult to get uh, two time uh, farrowing in case of pigs. Generally, weaning is done by removing the mother initially for around some hours. We have to separate the young piglets from the mother because suddenly if we remove the piglets from the mother, it might give some stress to the piglets. So slowly, we have to initially have to remove for one, two hours in a day. Then gradually, we can totally remove the piglets from the mother. So, sir, what are the most common diseases uh, in piglets and what are the preventive methods? Uh, to control these diseases yeah uh, piglets there are many diseases but one of the most common diseases is piglet anemia generally uh, sow milk is deficient of iron so these baby piglets they have very low level of iron 
in their body. Therefore, to control the pig, uh, piglet anemia, we have to inject uh, the iron injection uh, on fourth day of birth. Then again, we have to repeat it on the 14th day. There is some other matter also. We can paint the teeth of the mother or shower with saturated ferrous sulfate solution. We can paint this uh, mammary glands with this uh, uh, ferrous sulfate solution so that while licking or while uh, taking milk from the mother the sufficient amount of iron this uh, young babies or young piglets may get and uh, coming to other diseases uh, we are very we are very uh, very recently we are hearing about different diseases like the, your african swine fever is there then your classical swine fever is there but right now in the market the Vaccination against classical swine fever is available in the market. Therefore, these young piglets, they should be vaccinated against this classical swine fever around three to four weeks after uh, birth. And it has to be repeated after six months. And then annually, we have to repeat this classical swine fever vaccines. This classical swine fever vaccines are available, easily available in the market, or even some of the state government, uh, they are also supplying. Therefore, our farmers, they are advised that they should consider or they should consult to the nearest veterinary departments for the vaccination of their piglets against classical swine fever. Now again these are the diseases but these diseases can be prevented by some following biosecurity measures. We all know the disease will not come of its own. It has to be bought by someone. Therefore these biosecurity measures we have to be we have to follow very strictly for in our farms to prevent any kind of disease incidents in the animals. So sir, with this we have come to the end of today's episode. So I believe our viewers will follow these recommended practices for better care of their piglets. So thank you sir for sparing your valuable time. So till we meet again, keep following these good practices. Thank you. Thank you.